So there's a pocket of clay there. So get some oxygen and then come straight back down here. I'm gonna get two and I'm gonna go straight back to my raft. I'm getting a bit worried, you know, about all the other stuff as well. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Please not. No way. Please not now. Oh my god, no. My oxygen! Go! Freaking go, dude! This is good! So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Raft, where in today's episode we're of course going to be playing this game but also delving into the mysteries. Oh yeah, there's a few in this game. We've been sailing the seas for quite some time within this game so far and have you realised how many rafts we've spotted with no survivors on them? We've also been to copious islands, we've seen evidence of structures again with no survivors. Going on that as well, think about all the resources that simply float past, we've got plastic, we've got other stuff and other stuff. And basically yeah, that's all I had to say for this intro. So uh, please like if you enjoyed the video. So in the last episode, we started to establish a load of new things. We got the research table pretty much figured out. We got these beautiful net things right here too, you know? So things are going okay, though my food is looking a bit lackluster. So let's try and get that thing under control. All right, we're going to put you on there. I got myself a cooked meat, so I'm going to go ahead and eat that thing. Not bad. The main thing that we got from the last episode, though, was this research table. You can see right now we have so many different stuff we can nearly build. Hold on a sec, a Mel Ingot. So I think for stuff like that, what I need to do is make what's called the smelter. And to make that thing, I also need dry brick. And to make dry brick, I don't even know what I need. Let's try and grab some resources. I should probably drop the sail in order to do this, you know, because you do drift pretty damn fast. Let's go ahead and do that thing. And there we go. I think another thing I'm going to prioritize, especially for the night times as well, is maybe building some of the lanterns to place around. Let's go and do things right here. And yeah, I can't do that yet. I actually can. So I could actually build two of those. No. Oh, I need the one. Okay, that's fine. We have ourselves a lantern. Yes, look how much of the place this illuminates. Nice. Go ahead and place this thing right by the sails. I mean, probably not the smartest thing in case this thing sets a light, but you know what? Who cares? It's a video game, man. Look, it opens the flame straight on that thing, but we are good. Look at the visibility, though, that this allows us to have right now. I can literally see all around the different obstacles drifting towards us. This is definitely going to help in the long run. So what I think I'm going to try and prioritize doing is maybe getting some more of these netting systems all along the side of the raft, because as you can see, I mean, I guess it works. We are currently traveling, though, guys, straight ahead in that direction, and uh, I'm not sure if, if you remove them, you get the resources back. For now, I'm going to leave things as they are. I uh, just really need to make it through the night, and I need to watch my food especially. Then once the daytime comes around, I'm going to try and, I guess, get things flowing with more nets, and also get the research going. And once we find an island, I think I know a way now, guys, to actually combat this dingus, which I think... Did I hear him? Or, wait, am I hearing things? You get that double scoop right there. Look at that monster. I mean, we got this beautiful music playing. It speaks of hope, but I mean, look at the state of the ocean. This is not the song to see this. Freaking disgusting. That's what all this junk is right now. And I got a dude attacking the thing I'm on. So let me just check one thing within the research slot here. So I need to, I think, research a permanent anchor because the thing we have at the moment, it's like a one-shot use thing and that's not really useful, I guess, in the long run when we're trying to find loads of different islands. The stationary anchor lets you anchor your raft. So we need to understand how to use the metal ingots and also make a hinge. So I think I understand how we have to make the bricks as well, guys. You have to start with a wet brick, then I think you dry it off in the raft out in the sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a fishing rod. Let me explain why. There is an item in this game called the shark bait and I believe what you do is you have to try and catch some fish then you hook it on whatever it is and it distracts the shark when you're for example like island hopping especially underneath the water and I mean once we're in the water we're a freaking target so that's gonna help so much I'm gonna do some fishing guys and I'll be right back and I nearly caught that shark right there I've been fishing for a while guys I've got all of the resources I need to actually use the shark bait or should I say put the bait on the shark bait and there's an island also over there I mean any survivors <laughs> yeah as expected oh hold up a sec I mean I know I'm being attacked, least of my worries right now. If I rotate this guy right here, we have a raft that we can definitely research. We can just about get the right angle on this, judging by things. Let's rotate this guy just a little bit more in that direction. So this should pretty much lead to a fairly direct collision, which is good. I still don't know if inside of those little box things there's anything at all, or if it's literally just like a building block for us to access the upper floor. Either way, I mean, past survivor, why did you waste your resources building that thing? And here we go, guys. Three, two, one, and there you go. Let's get this done nice and quick. On we pop. Yeah. I think what we might try and do is because it feels like the uh, things drifting in the ocean are going in that same direction. I know this is probably reversed, but if I try and wedge myself roughly where the island is, maybe try and make the shark bait go under the water and make the wet brick, then we can get things really flowing. So shark bait, it keeps the shark busy. Let's go ahead and make one of those. We've got loads of stuff for that. Um... 
why is the no resources coming around right now? Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, wait, what? Okay, we may have a problem, guys. The ocean is looking as barren as it really should be. How am I about to survive the rest of this? We'll worry about this in just a second. I mean, I'm going to worry right now. I'll probably reload my game in after I do this. Maybe it's just like a little bug or something. I'm gonna try and paddle over to this island. It feels like with the sail at this angle, we're gonna be basically stationary anyway, so we don't have to worry about the raft drifting off. And uh, I'm gonna use this shark bait straight away and try and get things moving. Wait, what is that? There's some, like, salvage under here actually stuck on the island. Okay, let me see. Does this thing move? It looks like it's slowly drifting away, but only slowly. So with the shark bait, I need to tie this. Uh, wait, how do I use this? Do I just, like, throw it like that? And it just, like... Okay, so he's occupied. Now, I gotta do this quick. Uh, let me see. Yes, he's not even paying attention. So we use the hook on this, I think. And then I don't know what this gives us. That is clay, so that's good. All right, there's two of that. Now, I need some sand. So what's the uh, unique difference? I'm not sure. That was some stone. I need some sand, though. Come on. Dude is still way occupied with that thing. What have I got to do for just sand? That looks like stone right there. This looks like sand here. Yes, there's some sand. Nice. This is going to be a hard resource to collect, man. Like, I'm struggling to find sand, even though it's all around. Uh oh, my oxygen is really, really freaking low. Come on. Uh-oh. Have I messed up? Please don't say I have. And, okay, we're just about good. Jeez. Let me go ahead and pick up some seaweed. Kind of disgusting, but I'll take it. Um, hold up. Where's the shark gone? Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't like this. It's also getting kind of dark. I gotta get back to the boat. It's pig. I feel like he's literally ran beneath me or something. And dry land, thank goodness. Just on cue, I literally board my raft and the music kick straight back in. Come on, let's clap that up, man. We did pretty good right there. Okay, so making the wet brick then, let me just uh, check through the different stuff. It's uh, right there. So wet brick can be placed onto your raft to dry. Let's go ahead and craft that straight away. All right, we'll put this guy right next to the fire. Hopefully that'll dry just a bit quicker. Hey, idiot, we freaking tricked right there. Getting all their resources. What if I told you those fish were plastic that you ate? There's like a few bits of drift right there. It's almost like going in a straight line, but there's basically nothing more wherever I am. I'm really confused what's going on right now. Like, I feel like there should be some more. So, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to restart my game. Hold up a sec. There we go. Everything is flowing around us, including now me. Do not... Oh, my God. Come on. Get on the freaking raft. So, we are sailing in this direction here. This feels like the way the driftwood and uh, all the other bits are coming from. So, perhaps that way is straight. Let me just drop the sail a second and see what happens. So that way there is basically straight. I was also wondering, you know, if we like use multiple of the sails, will the uh, speed start stacking? But for now, things are looking much, much better. And I'm getting happy about this right now. Sustaining life is going down just perfectly. Well, kind of anyway. But I haven't found any other people, so, uh, you know, kind of said about that. But other than that, we're doing okay. What we need to try and do then is definitely make the smelter or smelter, however you want to say it. 7.59. AM. So it's been a while and now we have ourselves a dry brick, which in turn means we should be able to start researching things like the uh, smelter. And I don't know what else we could do with the dry brick. Go ahead and drop that guy right in there. Research that thing. That gave us just a smelter, but that's really important. Let's go ahead and learn how to make that. Uh, excuse me. I want to learn how to make that. What? You need six dry brick to make this. <laughs> oh my. Okay. That's going to be a bit of a grind. But I'm going for the challenge. Goodness me. We're going to have to do a lot of island hopping then in order to do that. Um, I don't even know if I'll get it in this episode, to be honest. I mean, what it shows though, guys, is that the fact that we can now make the smelter, it's clearly a game changer for it to be as difficult as it is to build, you know? Like, everything else is pretty much like you click and you make it, but the smelter, you really gotta work for that. And, uh, talking of working, I think the seeds are starting to put me through some work now as well. Bit rocky right now, guys, you see that? And that can only mean one thing, potentially a storm is on our way. We'll stay confident, though, it should be alright. Survived all of the other ones, and now I'm throwing my resources on the floor. That's actually a thing I'm finding right now. I've got so many of the other stuff that I'm pretty much okay. So I'm gonna have to try and make a small storage, which I'm gonna throw on the floor again. Storage number three, you can go right there. And I'm gonna put random crap in this one because seriously, it's getting a bit out of hand. Go ahead and place some of the metal in there. And also we've got 40 stone. And here we go. Here's that nice little shower. Fortunately though, guys, this one is kind of in the daytime. We can see to an extent, maybe not the best, but when it's nighttime, you can't see a single thing. Deploy the sails, rotate this guy nice and smooth, straight into the storm. Let's get through this thing and hopefully find an island on our way as well. Think I'll do a spot of fishing whilst I wait. Probably not the best time, but the shark is still attacking the ship regardless, guys. So we've got to prioritize many things. Oh, hold up. I think, yep, you know what, let me retract that. Okay, let's try and get over to this thing. We did it last time, it was pretty bad, but it was, I guess, successful? Let's try and get the same thing to happen one more time, but this one, this storm is pretty crazy, you know. Whoa, I can barely see it. Okay, about there. If we sail in a decently straight line, I see no issues why we can't just get the goods and get back off that thing before it starts sinking. Rotate this a little bit more. Okay, we're about to have a pretty heavy collision with this thing. Here we go. 
Okay, let's get this done. And there you go. It's kind of wedged underneath us, you know. There's an island in the distance too, so this is like a double whammy, okay? Get the goods and out we get. Now, if I can wedge myself on that island, I'm going to do a little bit of fishing. Then we'll get some more shark bait and try and get things rolling up. I, I, uh... I, um... What the f What I was saying, though, is try and get more of the sand, more of the, I think it was clay. We've got to get, like, a whole line of those dry bricks going. I do feel like I'm going to commit to this one, though. So I think at the same time after this collision, I'm going to make one of the anchors. Oh, my gosh, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. How much this is battering me around with the storm. Uh, yeah, let's get this anchor in place and stop. But guys, we're going to make this. I know it's already biting on the ship, so let me go ahead and pick this up and uh, throw this one about there. The only issue with being here is that we may be kind of semi-permanently stuck in the storm once we get this done. But I guess if we're under the water, we won't really notice any difference anyway. At least I hope so. I really have no idea. Just what I needed to make this whole thing feel a little bit less chaotic. So, in comes the music, guys. I'm deciding that I'm going to do some fishing and my rod just broke. That's really, really infuriating. Make another one, all right? I'm not going to be angry like this. Okay, and we're back, guys. So, I'm doing a load of fishing. I'm going to try and get my water and food up fully before I do anything with the shark. Then we'll make a plan from there. we got to remember, though, that there's all sorts of areas to explore with on this island and also underneath. We can go basically anywhere on this thing and any side. If I can make, like, three or four of the wet bricks, then that will be amazing. But we're going to have to find out. Okay, let's make two of these things then, just so we've got some time to last. Here. It's kind of getting to night time, guys, and I don't want to do this dive in the dark because, I, you know, I may as well do it like this. I can't see. I need to see if you can actually make a bed. I'm uh, pretty much certain you can. Simple bed. Uh, okay, I got loads of palm leaves, so yeah, we can get this done. You know what? I'm going to sleep exactly where I research, okay? I'm going to rotate this thing as well, 90 degrees. Yep, the bed goes right there, okay? We sleep where we work. Go ahead and lay down. What the freak? Like a one-frame transition? Main thing is, though, we're awake now in the day. I mean, I gotta get some more water, though, and stuff like that, but it's okay, I suppose. It's a fair trade for being able to sleep the nights away, and eventually, what I actually want to do is, uh, I suppose, get more of the lights. We don't have to worry about that. We have more than enough space in our inventory now, guys, so I'm gonna get this going. We're gonna throw this guy right out there, and let's see if the shark goes to it, which I think he will. Look, the bait's out there, guys. I'm gonna dive in and just see what happens, I suppose. Wait, 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 wait. There's the shark. He's... Uh, is he interested in the bait? I'm a little bit confused. Yes, he's going straight forward. This gives us a lot of time right now. So we need quite a lot of sand and quite a lot of clay. Uh, I hope this works out. That's all I'm saying. Gotta seriously optimize my time underwater and also balance my oxygen. So I believe this to be clay. Okay, that's clay. So let's get some oxygen right now. And we're gonna go straight back under and wait for the oxygen to go down and dive straight back in again. Okay, that's enough to make one. Come on, let's keep this moving. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Now we've got some clay here. I don't know if the corals can be used for anything, you know? Okay, let's see. No, you can't actually hit that. So let's get some oxygen one more time. Nice, dude. This is going really good so far. I just don't want to get too distracted and forget about the shark because he's not going to forget about me. That's all I'm saying. What's that right there? That is copper? Wait, you can... Okay, I never knew this was a thing. I'm going to get some copper. And breathe and breathe and breathe. Okay, the shark is very distracted still. This is awesome. Wait, is there no more resources around here? Like, is the other side completely barren or something? Okay, the shark... Oh my god, he's looking straight at me. Get on the raft. <laughs> All right, that was pretty successful though, you know? Not bad, not bad. We can make ourselves two of those. So a third of the way there, I suppose you could see that. We're gonna place these guys fairly central because as you can hear, I don't trust this guy nibbling on them. I think I'm gonna throw this one more time in that direction there. They're honestly pretty easy to make and I'm gonna get going around the other side. There may be some other good stuff. Is that literally it? That's where everything ends. Ah, dang. What is this stuff? Let me just check this out. Uh, I feel like it may just be scrap metal or something. So, yeah, just scrap metal. So, maybe the yield per island is about two. That, uh, I suppose, seems about right. Load of stones down here. We can, of course, use that to make the anchors. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold up. There's some down here. Okay, I feel like we've pretty much exhausted this island now. I got a load of copper and I've thrown my hook for some reason. Yeah, let me just see this. So, it can be smelted into a copper ingot. And I think copper is used as, like, a wire mechanic or component even. So, I think we're just about good here. I'm going to set sail and try and find another island, I think. I feel like really the only thing I need to do in the meantime is just continue fishing. There's not really a whole lot more I can make until I get the smelter, so I'm gonna prioritize that for sure. Actually, there is one more thing I wanna look at getting, which is this here, and I think I've got loads of bolts, so I could get this research straight away. Yep, let's go ahead and pop that guy in there. Now, research with that, we've got a load of new things we can make, like an enhanced fishing rod and the hook. We also got a clock as well, like what importance time has around here, like I don't even know. So if we make this one yeah, it's a little bit more demanding, but this is basically the same as the plastic hook, but better. It's faster, more durable, and can be thrown further, so that's pretty good. What's the benefits, then, of the fishing rod? Let's check this thing out. Sturdier and a bit more professional. Uh, okay, I don't know what the professional bit really means in terms of, like, how we can use it, but okay. And he's dead. And he's freaking dead. How can I get the goods from him? Like, uh, keep doing... Dude, look at the raw shark meat I'm getting, okay? Raft is, uh, kind of drifting away. Let's try and prioritize... Uh-oh. Uh, I think... Oh, for God's sake. Dude, did I just mess up? I'm really, really concerned, right? Oh, God. This is... 
This is really bad. I'm slowly gaining on my raft, thank goodness. Next time, drop the freaking sail before you do anything, all right? Can you actually, like, remove pieces of your uh, raft? Because I'm kind of getting frustrated that I can't and uh, then make a line of these nets. Like, you see, I can't do anything as well to remove it. I've tried the hammer. Does that damage it? Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I have no idea, guys. I guess I'm gonna have to make this thing look a little bit messy in that case. We'll place one right there, and I can't stack it, so I need to find some more wood in the meantime. All right, we'll do that there, and now we can place the second one, so that's good. Okay, four of those right there, then. I just wish I could remove the old boards, you know, that I didn't use. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that island right there. That thing is tall as heck, man. I mean, if someone's alive on there, they're gonna be living good. There's a load of trees on there, so they could be getting all those watermelon, you know, all that good stuff that comes with. I have no faith, though. They're probably dead. But what this means, though, guys, is this is going to be our next target. Now, after deploying those, it is helping a lot with the resource gathering. So, all good all round. Okay, now that's a resource I didn't want to collect. Come on, get the freak off my rack. One more. Let's not talk about that. Okay, I'm gonna try and sail roughly straight into this thing. Needs to wedge us because I don't have any of the anchors made and I think I need to do some fishing as well, you know. Throwable anchor and I think I can make that. Yeah, I should be able to. Hold up, the raft looks pretty stationary. I, uh, hmm, no, it's moving quite a bit. I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, you can go in there. Now let's do a bit of fishing and just get things back on track. You know what, guys? I don't really wanna wait for this one. Out goes the shark bait. All right, I wanna get moving with this. There's a lot of layers here and okay, this thing goes real deep as well. Let's focus on the top now. Sand is perfect. We need to then look out for clay, which I'm actually not seeing, which kind of sucks. Freak is okay, I gotta go down and see what that is. Um, what the heck? What the freak is this? It's like a gem or something. I have no idea. Metal ore? Okay, this is good. But again, I need the smelter to use this stuff, so I mean, it's only semi good for now. Is there really no clay on this thing? I'm not seeing a single piece of clay anywhere. Oh wait, this is some here, let's go. This island is pretty much resource heaven right now. There's even places around the edges, and I think that might be some clay again. All right, let's go, man, we are getting so much. I think now I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing and uh, just see how things are weighing up. I got three clay and I've got five of the sand, so only one more sand needed, and uh, then I need to find three more clay. I can actually make another one of the shark bait straight away. This is going good. It's almost going too good, guys. Like, I feel like disaster can strike at any minute. Let's just not jinx myself now. All right, let's keep this guy busy one more time. Let's get to work. I'm gonna check out this side here, so take a dive in. Now, we're looking for... Wait, what the... F okay, I dropped my hook, man. Having the hotkey map to... Wait, this three. Hold on, let me just change my train of thought. Let me do this, and then we'll get back to that. The last one now. Then all I need, I think, is one single sandwich is right here. Are you kidding? Let's go. Let's freaking go. I've got more time, though, guys, so I'm gonna do a little bit more looting, because I kind of feel like I need uh, maybe the clay or the sand for more stuff than just what I'm using it for now. May as well get as much as we can. Get some of that copper ore as well. Why not? Wait, does this thing have a cave? Hold up. Let me uh, dip down. I feel like... It kind of has a cave in here. Look at this. All right, we're going to call it quits with that. So there's a pocket of clay there. So get some oxygen and then come straight back down here. Don't want to get greedy with this though, guys. I'm going to get two and I'm going to go straight back to my raft. I'm getting a bit worried, you know, about all the other stuff as well. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Please not. No way. Please not now. Hold up. Can I use the jab? Dude, what the freak? Oh my God. No, my oxygen. Go. Freaking go, dude. Oh my God. This is good. Oh Where's my raft? Where's my raft? Dude, what the freak is going on? I'm getting really worried. That was too risky. I'm literally sweating right now. I'm serious. Dang. This smelter better be worth it. That's all I'm saying. One, two, three, four. There's our six to make the smelter. That's all we needed. Now I'm going to get this anchor straight back up off this thing. I don't need to be here no more. Let's get out of here. Okay, here we go, guys. One, two, three three and four. Looking good. There's our sixth then to make the smelter. Look at that base up there though. I feel like the only way you can access that is uh, say if you like get close with your raft and you almost build like a bridge where you can climb, kind of climb off. Maybe we can try that in due time but for now I'm just glad that we are seriously starting to progress right now with the more complex items and now we are smoothly sailing. So I guess now the wait really begins for this guy to uh, finish up drying. It's done the same thing again. There's no resources anywhere apart from like three little things there. I don't know why it keeps doing this. This is kind of weird. So finally, my dry bricks are all dry. Let's go ahead and take all six of these, and uh, I've made all the other stuff to make the smelter, guys, so no messing around here. Here it is. It can smelt metal ore, sand, and seaweed. Let's go ahead and craft that thing. That right there, guys, is insane progression as far as I'm concerned. This thing was a nightmare to make, and it better be worth it. For now, you could go right here, and yeah, I got a seagull spectating. Not for long, though. Get the freak out of here. So you can place planks under this thing. I'm going to fill this thing straight up. Now, we can pretty much do anything with this thing. Let me just check on the research table for example. 
example. So we've got metal ingots, and uh, I believe we can do that now with the uh, metal things that we have. I got copper as well, which I believe we can make like a circuit board and also like an antenna with. Yeah, so for example, we need the copper ingots and what's called what? vine goo. You know what? I'm gonna go and rotate this thing so we head on over to this island as well. Why not right now? In fact, let me try and place the uh, copper. That's a big old piece of copper. Is it one single piece of copper creates the ingot? There's a copper ingot. That's it. So I'm also gonna place one of the metal ores in there. This will give us the metal ingot. So uh, we can research both of those. All right, let's go ahead and take that one. So with the metal and also the copper ingot, let's place this into the research categories. We go ahead and research that thing. That gave us, I think, some new stuff. Yeah, so now we can actually make the bolts. Uh, we can make a hinge, a metal spear, and then an advanced grill. And we're gonna place the copper ingot in there too. Research that one. Yeah, we got loads of stuff now that we can nearly do. Then with what we've got there, pretty much, guys, we can then lead on to make, I guess, the hinge. We can research this stuff here. We are really starting to get there, guys. Let me just go ahead and learn all this good stuff. Look, we can make a freaking battery. Like, what even do we need a battery for? Used to power electrical machines. So we can get electronics within this game. I uh, suppose that's where we found, like, the antenna and the transmitter. But honestly, guys, for this episode, I put in so much work. You guys don't even know how long I've just recorded for. Good progress, though, all around. It's taken a long, long time, but it has been worth it. And honestly, for the next one, we're really gonna get things going with the building side. Hopefully, anyway. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.